What is up everybody? Final Boss here and today I got this amazing player. His name is Ku and he is just incredible. He's got to 3096 trophies being a world record as a level 3. And I know the first thing that you guys are going to say is like, oh my god, he's got 6 legendaries. I only got 1 legendary boss. This isn't even fair. I was like, this doesn't even count. Guys, he's smashing level 10s, first off, and second off, he's, you know what, he got all of these for free, he told me. He's like, he's had this account for over three months, uh, you know what, and if you have over 500 wins, that's guaranteed that you're going to probably get a legendary uh, chest out of that. He's also bought a legendary chest when it came in the shop, because you do start off with 500 gems, and opening chests, you'll, get, you'll accumulate more and more gems. Very, very slowly. It's not a bunch. Uh, you know, you can get a bunch of them for free. I experienced this as well on uh, multiple accounts. And so it is doable if you want to sit here and have an account and collect all these legendaries for a while and, you know, just not level. So he didn't really care, and that was kind of his goal. But, dude, these are awesome replays. His strategy is really, really cool. His favorite card is Sparky. And when I actually recorded all this video footage, he was actually at 3,045 trophies. My bad. I should have done the intro a while back ago, but I needed to do a couple other videos like the uh, the Dark Goblin and everything else. So my bad. So anyway, I cannot wait to share some of this with you guys. See some of the strategy here. And maybe I will actually go into a classic match uh, here in the future and play this. I, I really want to try it out. I don't think it'll, it definitely would not work in the top 200. But for him and for his level, absolutely, this is completely going to work. And it is really, really cool. So let's go on ahead and get into that. All right, guys. So first up, he's playing against Jimmy the Boss. And the first thing you're going to notice that the, the tower difference. Look at the tower difference. It's 1,162 difference that he's given him on, on uh, an advantage here. So uh, unfortunately... Ku does BM a lot, so please forgive him. You know, he, he could probably has gone through a ton of frustration and everything else. So he's doing everything and any means necessary here just to be able to stop that Sparky. He even drops down the defensive uh, the defensive graveyard on the opponent's side as the Sparky's come into his way. But he's going to have the graveyard coming up that's going to counter the Sparky nicely. But the tower damage is, are just so weak that Sparky is just never dying. So he goes on ahead and drops the Electro Wizard down, which will stop and reset, which is an amazing card at the, at this, this arena level. And this lower level, it's just, uh, it works really, really nice. So he's going to take a Prince's Full Charge here. And the Eye Drag is just, uh, just slowly coming down. He doesn't have... He does actually have a decent amount of uh, air defense. He does have the princess, the tornado, uh, and the eye dragon, the electro wizard. So it's not it's not air defenseless. Half of his cards are based off of that. So he's going to go on ahead and fireball. Then the eye dragon's going to lock on. And if you've played on a lower level count against higher people, these troops just never die. So his main push here is uh, the Sparky and then going ahead and do a graveyard. So it does take a lot to get set up. That is the level 11 elixir here. So the opponent here, it does have a level two and he's gonna go on ahead and drop it down just as well as he is. So he's gonna go on ahead and put down the graveyard so it will distract the Sparky. So the, he's gonna go on ahead and defend with the graveyard well, but the, here comes the log to take care of that. But his Sparky is now gonna get distracted yet again and his Sparky comes down and just destroys now his princess is now locked onto here and he sends in the electro wizard just for some support so he doesn't lose all that and the opponent gets some amazing value so he gives him a well played and uh, he, he and when it really was so uh, he goes on ahead and puts down the graveyard to counter the prince and the baby dragon's going to come in and clean up so Ku's trying to get into his setup put the graveyard in the back and then uh, his eye dragon's coming down. His opponent apparently has an eye dragon as well. So he's going to go on ahead and tornado right there and then get the electro wizard in. So his opponent went ahead and fireballed uh, everything right there. But he should have probably fireballed the electro wizard. But it looked like he was just trying to get some tower damage just so just he could go on ahead and get that in. So he's going to get a sparky blast. The graveyard's going to come in and take that down. For that win right there and uh, that was a good game so this guy is just completely smoking level 10s left and right he's had a, a ton of 10 uh, a lot of three crown victories believe it or not and because uh, he does lose towers but since his uh, or you know 
since he is spotting the opponent so much hit points and his towers just don't do any damage. So your towers do make a huge amount of difference because I've seen so many people that, you know, are level 7 or something like that or level 6 that have level 6 rares, but then people at level 10 are like, well, I got a level 10 account, you know, and it's not that impressive because, you know, it, it doesn't do that much work. But look at that, Electro Wizard and a Princess together shut down the, the regular Wizard, which was really cool, and then the Princess is going to clean that up. So yes, Tower Difference does make huge, huge, huge difference. So he's going to have to respond to pretty much anything that the opponent puts down, because even a little bit of damage, he's going to lose his Tower. So even a Bomber throwing down one bomb for like, you know, two or three hundred damage, whatever it does, is still a lot of damage. So a witch completely counters out a Sparky really nicely if played correctly. So he puts down a princess in here to take care of the little uh, little Larrys there, and he's going to put down a miner. So he doesn't want to take any damage yet again. So he puts down the skeleton army here to uh, to counter right there. So he's got the skeleton army coming down, and his next move up is to go on ahead and put down the graveyard. And so it's going to allow him to uh, get his Sparky get moved in here nice. So the little little Larrys are doing some nice. So he's gonna line up that wizard there to get an insane shot with the Sparky guys. Wow. By the way, if you saw earlier that th this is his favorite card because he uses it so much. All right. So I I think this deck is really fun. The tornado is a blast, but just as his main major win condition is the Sparky and the Graveyard combination. Now the Tornado is really, really nice and he's getting a little bit of frustration and I see why he's going to go on ahead and put the Sparky on this side because a lot of times the opponents, especially in the lower arenas, won't switch up sides. So you'll see people in the higher ups actually switch over to sides because they know that now the opponent's going to go on ahead and continue that side. So sometimes you have to ignore pushes, but he knows that he can't ignore and he knows that these opponents are going to go on ahead and go that way. So he does a nice sap. He knows that that Sparky is going to go down, but he puts the Electro Wizard to stop it. And what we thought was going to go down, now we have two Sparkies rolling. The shots are coming in on the Witch. Uh, Eye Dragon's going to go on ahead and uh, distract and kill over there on the Witch. And now the Skeleton Army is just going to town over there on the Giant. And it's a level 8 Giant, guys. That, that's, uh, that's, that's, no, that's no slouch right there. So he's going to go on ahead and go for the 3 Crown since he's got a Sparky locked in. He's got his Wizard behind it. And uh, I'm not seeing fireballs in these people's decks or anything like that. So, yeah, I didn't really have much to counter there. And, wow, what, what a match. So if you don't have a zap against this guy, you are done. There's no chance for romance and, and your host. So the WPG John John Boy was the actual match that he got the 3,000 3, trophies on. And uh, this was, uh, I think this was the one that I used for the, yes, this is the one that I used for the intro clip as well. Uh, I had fun doing these. So he goes on ahead, drops his Electro Wizard, and he pulls. Oh my god, that was awesome. Pulls that off, and look, now the Sparky's going to recharge and get off another shot. Electro Wizard's going ham over there, getting a couple shots in. And, uh, and did some nice damage. Look at that. He did uh, over 500 damage. So that was really cool. He counters over here with the, uh, the, the skeleton army. He tried to get a log in to save the Sparky. He sh shoots over a well played and uh, defends that nicely. The opponent dead. So now, now almost, almost, back, almost to even on one side. He's going to defend over here with the skeleton army. His opponent is attacking broke. Uh, I guess he maybe assumed that his opponent was broke, but he's going to take some decent. He took one shot from the musketeer, but the electro wizard makes the musketeer retarget over here. He's going to get one, two. He gets two shots over there with the electro wizard. So he has most of his damage right now at this point is all electro wizard. His eye dragon's going to go on ahead and lock onto the Valkyrie and take care of her as she comes down. So not 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 too much going on here. So. Here comes his wizard. I, I feel like this battle for him was uh, was really really tough. He's got level ten elite barbarians, um, so that's a, that's a lot to handle, guys. He's got a level eight wizard coming in. I mean, this guy is doesn't even have three thousand trophies yet. But that princess, look at that log. The princess is able to take care of that nice. And uh, the opponent is looking like he's gonna maybe fireball, but it looks like he's about to drop down his elite barbarians. So Fireball Zap is uh, maybe a key to, been, to being able to beat Ku and some of these opponents. 
not seeing too many zaps uh, in in these these matches that he is having. So, but he does have to respond to every single one of the opponent's troops being put down since he is so low in his trophy uh, in his uh, in his damage on his tower is just so low. So he does zap right there, and the Sparky's going to take out that tower. Now he's going to get surrounded by his skeleton army and as, as almost obliterated right there. So Sparky is charging up, gets the shot on the elite barbarians. Wow. I mean, seriously, that this this is cool, guys. This is really, really cool. I've enjoyed watching these replays and uh, that he shared with me, and it's just really amazing. He didn't want to take a hog hit, so he went ahead and tornadoes, but the hog will actually do damage as it's being swung in the tornado um, while it goes to the king tower. So as you can see, the hog did get one hit in. Sparky is fully charged, and he drops the graveyard down. Uh, the tower has locked onto there, but the tower, look at that. He gets a shot off. Just absolutely incredible. It is a really good strategy. It is a zap bait type deck, but yeah. So he got the 3,000 trophies with that the second time because the first time he got to it at almost 3,100. So he's not only been the legendary once on this account, he's been to it many times already. So really impressive. I, I think it's really cool. So he goes on ahead and drops the princess in the back, kind of sitting here chilling, waiting to see what else he's going to do. And this guy is just BMing him like crazy. I don't, th I don't even see how this is necessary at all for, you know, oh, you're level three and you're at 3,000 trophies. Like, I, why, why should you be the one that's BMing? So... I don't know. I, 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 I did not think that this was cool of this guy. And this is probably why, you know, he BM so much is that he's just getting tired of level 10s and everything else. So he went ahead and shut that down and, uh, you know, I guess made him be quiet a little bit since he pushed down, you know, put up his whole push and shut that down completely. So he's going to go on ahead and drop the Sparky on the back whenever he gets full elixir here because that is his main push and his win condition is the Sparky Graveyard Push. And he's going to drop down a Lava Hound. This deck is weird. He's got he's got Inferno, Elite Barbarians, uh, and a Lava Hound. I, I just It's really, really crazy. So he's going to go on ahead and drop the Graveyard down. And now he's got the Sparky rolling in hot. Uh, hasn't been responded to yet. And then he goes on ahead and drops down the Valkyrie. He's going to log the Valkyrie away. And now the uh, Sparky's heating up. Got the shot in. And the Eye Drag has uh, shut down the Lava Hound in the meantime. So now we got the princess over here just kind of doing some assistance work. And the princess is locked onto the baby dragon. It's going to do some nice damage. But he doesn't want to take any. He doesn't want to take any damage and minimize every troop that's coming his way since he is so low. So the Electro Wizard's got half of his bolts on here. The princess is coming in hot, trying to do all take care of that. And he gets the, the uh, skeleton army down just in time before the, the princess takes some nice damage. So he's hoping to get some... Uh, some damage in with the princess as well. The the graveyard's coming in. It's it's practically automatic and given damage whenever you put a graveyard down. It's just uh, absolutely impossible to void any kind of damage from that. So he goes on ahead. That princess has been alive for 5,000 hours, guys. Look at that. Sparky comes in. He's going to go on ahead and tornado it while this is lasting. This is crazy. He dressed the Electro Wizard in. He's just keeping everything alive. The dude is just going ham. Sparky is still heating up. Mega Minion's locked on, but he's going to get a zap off right here. And Electro Wizard, you can't help but root for this guy at this point because he started off BMing this dude so bad. And the Sparky's about to get in a great shot off right there on the uh, Valkyrie. And then he's going to go ahead and put the Skeleton Army down. So that <laughs> now he's given the laughing faces, and you know what? I don't I don't condone like I don't I don't ever really BM too often, but every once in a while it is uh you know this this guy deserved it. So I I definitely have to have to say if anybody deserved it in in his BMing it was definitely that guy. So you know what? If uh, if I, if I would have been him, I would have been well played and uh, good luck. I would, that's what I would have said. So he's going to go on ahead and zap right here. Now we're getting into some more decks that have uh, zap in inside of it. Um, so the Elite Barbarian is going to take one, two, three, three hits. Oh, my God. He's just going to town. That tower kit takes five hits from one Elite Barbarian, guys. So that's what their tower damage is so important in this game is because he can't he couldn't do anything against that. So he goes on ahead and puts the Sparky on the other side. Now check this out. Sparky has enough time to heat up and boom, 
Bam! Nine elixir down. Sparky's rolling in hot. He's got four elixir coming in, and he's gonna fireball that. So Sparky's gonna get a nice shot off, kind of uh, almost leveled the playing field a little bit, and the princess is gonna get a few shots in here until he gets responded. We got two shots coming in, three. I believe we're gonna get probably four. Uh, oh, four. Wow, no, we got more than that. Yeah, four? I don't even know. I don't even know how to count anymore. But anyway, the Electro Wizard comes in, zaps the princess, and then she goes on ahead and retargets. So a great card. Uh, doesn't work too often. He's going to go on ahead and put the, the uh, hog down on that side. He's running, rolling on the broke, broke side, but he knows that he's going to have to take this guy down. But now we got skeletons coming in from all the areas, but he decides to respond with the Valkyrie, which is a great move. I think Valkyrie could use an actual defensive buff. I know that uh, I, I don't I don't know if they can even do anything to make her great again, especially with the Ice Golem. But Ice Golem is the new Valkyrie, though, for as far as Trifecta goes. So Eye Dragon coming in and uh, does not kill the Princess, unfortunately. He's going to go on ahead and log her away, which is a smart move because she will take that tower with two shots right there. So here comes his bowler. He's just dropping troops on the bridge. He's not like really getting a full push going on here. So he's just trying to take down a tower as fast as possible. And uh, Electro Wizard's doing some nice work over here. He is going to go on ahead and oh, it's the tornado is going to get drawn into the center and Sparky takes it down. This guy absolutely loves this. It's his favorite combo. Now the fireball, he finally has to respond to it because no troops are working for him. But he does have the Sparky and the princess coming in. And he's going to zap the Sparky. Uh, he's going to protect over here with the, uh, the Electro Boy. And uh, the princess is going to take out the other princess. Graveyard's doing a little bit of work. He's going to line up the Valkyrie, going to get that damage. And somehow that Sparky just lasted like five lifetimes right there. It was pretty cool. Uh, so he goes on ahead and drops a Sparky on the bridge as time is almost expiring. He drops the Electro Wizard in. But look at that. The Sparky is going to take out the tower. And, and five, six... Oh my god, look at that. Oh, he got the tornado for the defense. He's zapping. He doesn't have anything. That was Clutch City right there. Way to go, Koo. Cool. Alright guys, <laughs> that was awesome. I, I really enjoyed the replays. The, the Sparky Graveyard Tornado combo. Super cool. <laughs> I mean, it looked like fun. He played that super well. I mean, he just had to defend against everything. That last match was definitely my favorite match by um by all of them for sure but i don't know like the beating the bm -er was kind of cool too i i enjoyed all of them to be honest so i hope you guys enjoyed it this guy did get the world record 3096 as a level three uh and really cool unique guy so anyway follow him on twitter i will put the information in the description follow me as well i hope you enjoyed it if you did put up that thumbs up i really enjoy seeing those and i always love to see your pleasant comments and I cannot wait to see you guys next time. Peace out, guys.